Hello everyone, Mystical Arcania, welcome back to another commentary video. Today we are listening to H3H3 Lies by Keemstar. We are going to be reacting to, commentating on, and, well, seeing what we think. Well, I think. What is up, Drama Alert Nation, and everyone? What is up, Drama Alert Nation, and everyone else that's going to see this video? This is not a Drama Alert video. This is not a news video. I'm making a video today. This is a news video. This is a Drama Alert video. It's based on the uh, content nuke released by H3H3 yesterday. That makes it a news video. Responding to a video that was uploaded yesterday by a. If you look on the table, you can see the G Fuel uh, thing. His sponsorship has ended, uh, for some reason, probably got laid off or something. I think he'll talk about it later. H3H3, H3, where he accused me of various things that can be proved wrong, completely out of context, j just plain wrong. But the most damning thing that he accused me of is killing Etika. And that I, for one, do not believe Keemstar killed Etika. Mostly because I am not a gullible person. That's what I want to talk to you about today. Everything else he said in that video, I will be responding in a separate video, but I want to focus on this because it's just... You'd have to be the biggest scumbag in the world to try to pin another man's suicide on another person because... Man, H3H3 H3 is indeed a scumbag. He's a lying scumbag who deceives others, so... He's not a good person. Because of an internet beef that me and you are having, which we've been having for quite some time, and I'll explain all of that too. But to get into it, the, the basis of this whole Keemstar killed Etika is the interview that I did with Etika and some tasteless tweets. Recorded an interview with At Etika. He started yelling and rage quit. He mad because I called him out for being weak. Those aren't looking good for you. Uh... Etika has blocked your suspended. Is it private? Is no, he blocked you probably. I'm getting in a few tweets saying it's wrong to interview Etika because he's having a middle of breakdown. You're exploiting my loyalties to my subscribers, but I'll put it to a vote. Vote now. Yo, upload interview bad. Upload Etika interview. No, yeah. good old Keemstar. You never said he was a nice person. The thing that pisses me off is that Etika now 100% knows the internet is worried about him. 13 eight hours later, he's not notifying that his fans is okay. Maybe it's because he did off himself, but... Dear Etika, normally I would say stop going crazy, but there's no news show going, going on, so go for July 15th, baby. I have kids to feed. This is normal Keemstar, if you've never seen him that I put out. But more than anything, the interview is what gets the most attention in this situation because a segment of what I said to Etika and what transpired. We'll get into that, but before we do, first, I want to share a statement from Etika's own mother who texted me this. Hello, Keemstar. This um, Etika's mom. Etika mom. Interesting. Uh, I have no reason to suspect this is a lie or a fact, so I will treat it as nothing. This is Etika's mother responding to you to address the recent threats and accusations that you've received in relation to his death. I wish to inform Etika fans, friends, and viewers that Keemstar is not responsible for Etika's... Uh, when did you receive this, Keemstar? If you received this days after Etika died... Maybe a day after, maybe on the same day. You should have showed it. Passing and should not be held accountable for my son's actions. Etika loved Keemstar's show. And that's what I also believe. If you if you cause someone to suicide, yeah, you should be held partially accountable. But the fault lies within the person committing suicide. Why should you be fully blamed for someone else's action and wanted to make his appearance both memorable and exciting my son's goal was to make the segment as dramatic and entertaining as possible not to use it as a vehicle of hatred towards the show's host and creator and anchor. spread love and goodwill instead of passing judgment 
What's truly needed is a much better platform supporting mental health awareness throughout the world. Please build up your online community with kindness instead of recklessly breaking each other down. In God we trust, you will take these blessings I send out to you. And I must admit, when I got that text message, I, I just completely fell apart. That is exactly what I needed when I needed it, grieving with Attica's passing and then having some of these people online blaming me for his passing. So, Attica... You still look like a no. Because, Mom, thank you so much for sending that to me. She didn't send that to me yesterday or today. She sent that to me a few days after the passing of Attica. Why did you never show it? It basically states, Hey, you should show this video. So either it's a fake tweet, well, fake text, you really received it on that day, or you received it around this time. Also, I'd like to read some statements that were put out yesterday on Twitter by Etika's past girlfriend. He tweeted in response, to h 3 h video really sad to see people blaming keemstar again he was in no way responsible for attica's actions let's think about it some more one of attica's goals was to be on dromler because he respected that man they were friendly behind the scenes desmond was actually unwell sick so in short i understand that keem's past makes it really hard for others to change that opinion understandable keem's past is as a doxer, as uh, an asshole, as someone who basically caused drama, he was also part of a... Uh, he was also one of the people who went on Call of Duty, shit on people everyone hated, stuff like that. So don't go thinking I'm trying to make a divide between those who like... And unlike him, this is just my take on the situation. This is the most difficult conversation to have. That's absolutely right. This is my last few selfies with him from September. Uh... This is a difficult okay. conversation to have. This is this is ridiculous, and we shouldn't be engaging in this whole thing. I shouldn't be forced to respond to this. Attica's death shouldn't be used as a pawn to beat me in this feud that we have, H3H3. You really crossed the line. Now, after Attica's past girlfriend, Alice made- It isn't even the worst thing H3H3 did in the video. H3H3, no matter what you may say, went after Kimstar's sponsor, which led entire legions of people to go after Kimsa's Spotify, too. Because they don't like Kimsa, they want him off the platform on Spotify. They know he won't ever be deleted from YouTube. Even I know that. That's pretty common. He'll come back if he does. Made these tweets, h 3 fans started attacking her and harassing her to the point where she had to go private. She DM'd me saying that she had to delete everything because they were spamming some really inappropriate stuff to her. Uh, but she said that I could use the screenshots. And I said, no problem. h 3 h 3 fans can be the worst. But keep in mind, during this whole screenshots, and I said, no problem. Going down where a man actually can be the worst. But keep in mind, during this whole Etika situation that was going down where a man actually lost his life, there were moments where I said some stuff that was completely stupid and wrong. And they're all over. Everyone shared them. But I did not kill this man. Attica's girlfriend that should be pretty obvious also said this please don't think that i'm trying to absolve keem of the wild shit he said and then apparently people accused her but when she came out with these statements of being paid off in h 3 h 3s video he, he showed but when she came out i'm not some fangirl i hate the way he talked about mental health and he's changed but i'm not a fan these statements of being paid off in h 3 h 3s video, he showed a lot of these tweets, painting a picture that I didn't care about Etika at all. That I simply just wanted to use this as a spectacle to get as many views as possible. Like, that was the whole... Keemstar is not like that. Keemstar does not try to get as many views as possible. Keemstar lives for drama, not views. It does Views just help the drama. Image that he put forth. He even found some tweet where I, I acknowledged that he was in a certain mental hospital. He even found a tweet and made this point in his video that I doxed the mental hospital that Etika was at. 
but four eight. What? This is pretty public information if you go to most mental hospitals and search for someone's name. Usually it's public information on the database. How is this doxing anyways? It's a public place. It's not like someone's private home. To find this tweet, he would have had to go to my Twitter. He would have had to hit advanced search, right? Put the user Keemstar in and then put in Etika and see all the tweets that I've ever made about Etika. And if you do that, you actually get full context. On October 25th, I said I was really worried about Etika. If you see this, I want you to know that you're an amazing entertainer and thousands are counting on you to be here to entertain them. You have purpose. This was after he made a Reddit post that made it seem like he was going to commit suicide. And then he was gone. He was gone for a couple days, then came back, started streaming, and it just seemed like something was off. I tweeted out, I actually like Attica. I don't think he's evil like Fousey, but he- Yeah, Fousey Tube is a dumbass motherfucker who's an absolute asshole, a clout chaser, and a piece of shit. There's a reason why he had to act like a clown. Because he couldn't survive Leafy is here without getting treated as a clown. He's definitely manic as fuck. Quoting, he actually acts like this because that's what all of his fans were saying. I said, nah, not like this. At this point, I actually thought something was seriously wrong. But if you are a fan of Etika, if you watch Etika, if you watched his streams, Etika, the entertainer, was very, very close to Etika, the guy acting not right. They were so close to each other that it was so hard for the fans and even myself to figure out through all these different outbursts that were happening over and over and over again. It wasn't one incident. It was multiple incidents. If he was actually losing his mind or if this was a publicity stunt because he made it really seem like it was a publicity stunt. H3H3 didn't include the tweets of me saying stay healthy. Or how after the interview, I seen a clip of him on his stream and he seemed like he was doing much better. And I said, whatever you're doing, stick with it. H3H3 saw these tweets. I'm just going to point it out. H3H3's face looks stupid here. And he speaks like this often. He has this weird way of talking where he brushes his... He brushes up his nose and scrunches it up to draw out words. To make it seem more noticeable, have more of an impact. Does it work? Sound, it sounds like a pig if it had human vocal cords. And he looks like a pig. It's really difficult to take him seriously with that face. And he speaks like that often. He looks like that often when he's speaking. But none of these tweets were included because it doesn't push the narrative that he wants to push that I Everyone wants to push a narrative that they the way they like Anyways, this has been part one Nah, let's continue a bit Attica. We were going back and forth me and Attica's fans were going back and forth whether or not to believe that he was in trouble or to believe that this was a publicity stunt and it got to the point where all of his fans were spamming clown emojis at him calling him a clown because they did not believe that he, there was a mental issue they believed that it was a publicity stunt and i talked to the man i talked to the man on the phone and he would be completely calm he would talk about the numbers the subs uh, he asked me once about getting verified, and he thought because he did this one publicity stunt where, you know, they broke into the door and took him to the mental hospital, that, you know, now there were these articles on him, and maybe he could get verified. That's the conversation we had. And keep in mind, from an Internet's perspective, he was taken in handcuffs to a hospital, and they let him out hours later. I'm not a doctor. You know— Nor are you a therapist. So anyone saying that you should have helped console the man is a dumbass. You're a keemstar. You're an asshole online. What would you have said to him? Ah, I'm sorry, man. What, on your fucking show? No. Anyone who believes he would is a fucking naive idiot. An incompetent one at that. Now, it's nearing 15 minutes. Part one over. Mr. Glock, hey, now. Let's record part two.